I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Welcome to Redman TV, the breaking news that Liverpool have finally completed the signing of Lazar Lazarmarovic uh, from Benfica for a fee rumoured to be in the region of 19.8, 20 million, there or thereabouts, after they completed a medical um, at Spire, just around the corner, um, <laughs> early on, on Monday. The 20-year-old Benfica player and Serbian international joins, of course, Brendan Rodgers' side. We know he's a right winger. We looked at him in far greater detail than Lazar Markovic. Fact file video, if you want to check that out, please do go and do that. That'll be in the um, in the end card at the end of the video. I want to know your thoughts, though. Obviously, Luis Suarez is now gone. We know this. We've discussed this in great detail. It's a lot of money for a young for a young player. He looks a talent. As, again, described on the fact file, he's PR, YouTube porn. Um which is great, <laughs> you know, but then again, I'm sure if you went and found the Nabil Alzar highlights video, you'd probably look a beast as well. Maybe not. But <laughs> I wonder if you thought, has anyone actually seen him play? Help is helpful. Uh, obviously, I, I can't say I've kept up kept up on me in um, Portuguese footy too much uh, in recent years. But, you know, by all accounts, he's rated very, very highly. The Serbian boss thinks a lot of him. That he's got so much experience at such a tender age as well. We know, you know, he was named in the Europa League uh, team of the year last year. He played in the Champions League last season and got up, to, uh, got up to the, well, the team got to the final. He got to the semis of the Europa League as well. Vital experience. <sighs> when we Given that we were linked with um, Alexis Sanchez, he's now moved to Arsenal. Should we are we right to compare those two? Would we have signed Markovic if we got Sanchez as well? Let me know any thoughts on this in the comment section. I'm I'm excited by it again because of how 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 highly he's rated. It seems a lot of money, but when you consider that it's going to be spread out over the years of his contract, he looks like the kind of player that if he if he fulfills his potential. You're not going to lose any money on him. If anything, you're going to make potentially masses of money on him. I mean, you look at Brendan Rodgers got a decent track record with signing younger players. I think when you, I mean, the best example I think you've got to say is um, Philip Coutinho. And if he comes in and if he's if he's as good as Phil Coutinho, then I think that looks like a that looks like a potential steal. And when you consider if he comes in at Coutinho's level, boss, but we know that he's still got room for improvement, much like Coutinho himself. So I'm excited by it. And I think the thing that. The idea of having three young, exciting talents in Raheem Sterling, Markovic and Coutinho and then still being backed up by the likes of Jordan Henderson and, 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 and Adam Lallana as well. I think that bodes well for Liverpool's season. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Should Liverpool still be pushing for that marquee signing? Would you be disappointed if we completed it, haven't completed the signing, we maybe got Moreno and maybe Lovren and that was it? Would you, do, you, do Liverpool need to go out and buy big name players? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section underneath and of course thoughts on Markovic in general. If you want to watch more, we're going to be discussing Markovic's transfer and a whole lot more on the RedmenTV.com. So come over, it's free for a month. Three exclusive shows for you um, discussing every, every little aspect of Liverpool's pre-season and all the news around the club in far greater detail. Anyway, I'm Paul Machen. Do come over. What else are you going to do? I'll be here. I'll just be sat here. No, I'm going to be joined by full cast of the captains. Anyway, come and get on the shows, uh, and we'll see you there. ta -da. Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. It's a transfer target focus number two. We're looking at Lazar Markovic, who's going to be known as Laser, basically, on Merseyside next season.